Dear guests, uh, dear students, uh, dear colleagues, welcome to the fifth scientific evening of this academic year. And it is my great pleasure to introduce to you Professor Massimiliano Pinucci, uh, who will be presenting uh, his lecture for us today. Um, Massimiliano has been a designer since 1987, so this year is the 25th anniversary of his design uh, work. And he has been ranging between the expressive languages of form, image, and research. Uh, he has been the founder and director of various studios. Currently, he is the CEO and creative director of MV Vision. Uh, he is a winner of numerous awards, among those uh, such as Italia's Cup at Triennale di Milano in 1986 uh, and other awards. He has worked for clients such as Piaggio, Bianchi, General Electric, IBM, and Alinari in the fields of creative direction and in as a creative director in communication and product design. Since 1993, he has been involved in teaching digital design and communication. He is a professor at ISIA Firenze, where he holds the Strategies of Communication, which is a master's level course, and Digital Projects, which is a bachelor level course. He also gives lectures and seminars at other institutes and universities, such as Palazzo Spinelli in Florence, then University of Genova, and Academy of the Arts at at Florence, and he has held seminars as a visiting professor at the Academy Design in Eindhoven and Via Moda Warsaw. Since 2010, he has been a member uh, of the board of ELIA, which is the European League of Institutes of the Arts, an Amsterdam-based European network representing over 300 institutions and universities in over 50 countries. He is also a manager of, manager of many European-funded projects, such as Idintos or Prina, among others. Uh, he is also a coordinator and actually a conceiver of events such as Creativity or Fiabesk. Um, and in the, uh, he also works in the design uh, of museum concepts and direct, he's a director of technical, directs the technical displays for institutions such as the Alinari Image Museum or the Piaggio Museum. In the field of product design, he has worked for over 15 years with Piaggio, uh, Centro Stile Innovazione Veicoli, for which he developed product designs and research projects. Uh, from where I know Max is in the field of aviation because he has been working with a company that I also work at, which is Pipistrel here in Eidoschina. And he has worked for 10 years for this company. First he was a customer, then, then he somehow presented his capabilities to us. So he has worked on the Taurus aircraft, which is a motor glider, but now we are collaborating together on the new four-seater aircraft Pantera, which will be unveiled this year. He has written and edited several books dedicated to technological research, the history of aviation, as well as some short stories and novels. In his free time, he is also a pilot glider and of also of motor gliders, and he has over 1,000 hours of flight, but he also plays bass in jazz and tango groups. <laughs> so I hope I introduced you properly, and now please uh, welcome you to give your talk. Okay. First of all, thank you for the invitation. Thank you very much. Uh, and the second thing is my, I'm, I apologize for my English, because I never studied English, and I tried to, to learn by doing in the, in the correct way, because I, I studied st uh, French and Spanish and Latin also, but the problem is I don't like English at all, and, but <laughs> unlikely, unfortunately, it's impossible to, to live without English and that. I'll do it, I'll try it. Okay, uh, I am, thanks to the invitation to, uh, to Gregor, I try to, to, to talk, to, to prepare a presentation about not necessarily works, but, uh, but uh, emotions. I think uh, working in the creative field, you must be, first of all, passionate in what you do. And uh, I try to collect a lot of, uh, of uh, works, not only my works, but also very famous uh, brands and very famous fac uh, companies, uh, where the passion is the real engine of the uh, creative works. Okay, we, are, we work as a designer. Normally, the old concept of a designer is people who work and design something, a product, and then direct, direct it to the user, and then the product go to the market. 
Now the problem is we have to know too much things. Uh, it, the, 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 the life is always too much complicated for, for a lot of things. Try to imagine how simple it was when, when we, we can ask, we can choose just one contract about your phone. Now we have 200, 300 different carriers, contracts, and it's, the life uh, is too, day by day complicated by uh, stupid things. And in the, in, the, in the design field now, the new structure is a group of thinkers, people who think and who work in, directly with experts, because we need a lot of experts to be a good designer. Uh, the, stereotype of a, the stereotype of the designer is the, the man with the, with the pencil in the pocket. Now, I think uh, we, we, we need something different, because we need the, to be a connector of competences. And uh, uh, what I, I, I say normally to my students is that we need to, to know, as a, as a, let me say, as an as a, um, uh, orchestra director, you, you must know how the instruments could work, work and play. But you must be the director. Uh, I managed uh, from, I manage uh, a lot of uh, events in, in Italy dedicated to, uh, first of all, the, the aeronautic uh, field. And uh, uh, in creativity, uh, in uh, an event I manage for the Ministry of Education, uh, I invited a lot of uh, very skilled, very, very famous people, very famous designers. Uh, and uh, the history starts when I invited uh, Isao Zoe. Isao Zoe is a Japanese uh, famous designer. He lived in Italy since 15 years, 20 years. And is famous because in 76, he designed his first, the first human-powered plane, powered by a man. And uh, he designed these uh, strange things. It's very difficult to, to fly with the... The, the human power. But after this uh, incredible project, he started to, 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 to work in the um, design of furniture. And now he's a very famous in Italy and all around the world as a furniture designer. In the same, same day, I invited another guy, uh, Mark Newson. Mark Newson is another very famous designer. And Mark Newson worked, uh, uh, first of all, was a jeweler. But he designed a lot of things, including a uh, two-seater two two uh, jet, personal jet for the Cartier Foundation. When the two famous uh, professionals, they, when they met, uh, it's also I said, this plane could, this plane could work, could, uh, could, uh, can't work in this way. It can't go backward. And Mark Newton said, please, design your furniture. Thank you. And I, in, the, in this moment, I realized uh, one important thing, thing. We can be very different from what we think to, to, from what we study and what we think we can be studying and growing. Uh, the passion is our engine. Passion in the real sense of world. Passion is a very powerful feeling. It is an extreme in, in, interest in something. My passion is, a, uh, the, my passion is a, the aircraft field. And then I, I, I bring with me some things about uh, this, uh, this world. First of all, in the, at the beginning of the aviation, the, uh, the pilot was a hero. The pilot uh, was the, the, the representative of the maximum power and the technology um, of the uh, obvious period. But in this picture, the most innovative thing, it isn't the plane, it isn't the uh, pilot, but it's a stupid, stupid thing, the wristwatch. Because uh, before the First World War, 
the wristwatch wrist didn't exist. Uh, a famous uh, tycoon, uh, Santos Dumont, uh, was, a, was one, one of the first pilots in the story. First pilots of uh, uh, airships, then airplanes. And he designed the first uh, ultralight plane, the Demoiselle, intended to be a very popular plane. But the problem was to look at the, uh, at the watch during uh, flying. Very difficult. And uh, uh, luckily, Santos Dumont uh, met a very famous jeweler, Louis Cartier. And talking about this problem, Cartier said, I can help you. And he designed uh, the first uh, wristwatch. And the first wristwatch was designed in 1904. Then it's very, very recent. And the first design, this is the first design, is, looks so familiar, so, so actual. It's unbelievable. This, is, this was the first uh, wristwatch. And the first uh, wristwatch, uh, the Santos Dumont model, is still in production. The logo. This is the Fokker D7. Uh, a very, 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 very fast, nimble, and, and uh, uh, robust plane. Uh, during the, the First World War, at the end of the First World War, uh, the Allied um, imposed to uh, avoid to use the Fokker D7 because it was a strategic, a strategic weapon, just because of its engine. The engine was uh, produced by a, a company called, called RAP in München, in uh, Germany. An Italian uh, un uh, entrepreneur bought the company and said, I don't like both logo and name. He said, why do you wrap is a, and the, why the words? I prefer to see a propeller, and they want to change the name. The name could be, I don't know, Bayerisch Motorwerke. And I want a propeller into the logo. And this is the logo, the first logo of BMW. BMW. It's basically after uh, 100 years, it's basically the same. It's a propeller, it's a blue sky, and then it's a, something to communicate uh, the uh, technology. BMW worked in planes and, uh, for years and years, and in, not, but now is very famous for the cars. Another company is very famous for cars, Bugatti. Uh, Bugatti is a, a brand, uh, and Bugatti was an was a Italian uh, manager who, and designer who started in, um, in the beginning of the last century his work in Paris. He, he left Italy and started in Paris with this workshop, and it started designing the most beautiful cars, I think, in the, in the world. Bugattis are very, very famous. But the problem is Bugatti was fascinated uh, from planes. And he tried, at the end of the 30s, to involve some designer and to try a new adventure, to design a record plane. And the record plane was uh, so beautiful and so uh, streamlined, uh, it looks like a very, very modern plane. The plane was realized in 38. It was intended to be the fastest uh, plane in the world for its period. Uh, technical solutions were really very innovative. And also the line, also the position of, uh, also the ergonomy of the planes was so innovative. The problem was the war. During the Second World War, uh, at the beginning, the, the French government uh, hid the, 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 the plane to avoid uh, German, uh, German um, army. 
and the, the plane was recuperated in uh, not more than 15 minutes ago, and now is in the, at, on display at Oshkosh in the USA. And the plane is very, very, so, so beautiful and so modern. If you see the plane on a, on a, on a, in a, on a runway on a, in an airport, looks like a very new model, very new plane. New plane, old planes. Okay, uh, this is another uh, record plane. This is, was designed in, uh, in uh, late 20s from Piaggio. The Piaggio is a company uh, very famous in the world for the Vespa, the scooter. But Piaggio wasn't a, a scooter a producer, it was a plane producer. And this was the first uh, design of, of Pegna. Pegna was an Italian uh, designer, fascinated from the uh, um, seaplanes. Uh, he designed for the Schneider Cup, Schneider Trophy. Schneider Trophy was the most important uh, trophy about uh, seaplanes. Uh, he designed this uh, uh, plane, very strange. Uh, Hydrophores instead uh, Floating, uh, floating. And uh, the interesting things of this plane was the engine could, at the same time, uh, uh, activate the propeller in the back just for floating. And then, like uh, in, a, in a boat, uh, pass, move the uh, transmission to the front propeller and then take off. He didn't take off. He never, never took off. But it's really a dream. Like this Vespa. This is the Vespa uh, record. This was a, the, it's called the Siluro. Siluro in English is, uh, uh, Siluro is a um, torpedo. Uh, and this, uh, this, this uh, at the opposite, won a record. 175 kilometers per hour with the engine of a Vespa. Uh, 100 cc in, uh, in the 50s. Piaggio was a very, very skilled uh, airplane producer. Uh, he won a lot, the company won a lot of uh, uh, war records, and this was the last uh, product before the war. But the war unluckily happened. And the Piaggio and Pontedera, my city, was totally destroyed by the war. After the war, the problem was the market of planes was very, very small because the uh, Americans the, the invite, in, 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 uh, invaded not only with troops but also with products here. And then the problem was what we can do now with our skills. Corradino da Scagno, I think, is the less famous Italian aeronautical engineer. But in reality, he was really, really skilled. He designed the first uh, flying helicopter in the war, a real modern helicopter in the late 20s. was a fan of uh, Sikorsky and other very important um, companies. But the problem was Piaggio, was, uh, uh, Piaggio, Piaggio owner, Enrico, decided to avoid any, uh, to, go to invest money in helicopter. And he said, I want a motorcycle. But the problem was, Cordino Scanio hated motorcycles. And he tried something new, the Vespa. Why new? First of all, he designed the, the frame. But the frame of the Vespa, it isn't, it's totally different from a normal frame of a motorcycle. But it's very close to the, uh, let me say, the, it's, a, it's a, a origami of pressed metal sheet. The second, the, the suspension, very different from the from a motorcycle, but very close to a, a, the, the landing gear of a plane. Just because it tried to transfer his passion to the, to, the, to the motorcycle, because it hated motorcycles. So dirty, so noisy, and also for transmission. I decide to avoid any problem. And it's an, it's an, it's, it, the, the, the wall 
engine closed with the gearbox inside with any contact with the uh, driver, with the pilot. Just because it worked on the starting starters for big engines and it transferred his own experience in a motorcycle. Interesting things is the Vespa is uh, simple to drive, simple and uh, very interesting for a new market. Very strong, very powerful, very interesting. Women. And the girl loved Vespa because it was so different from, from motorcycle. So different, so simple to drive, so simple to... And the Vespa in Italy uh, become, became, first of all, a new way to move, but uh, at the beginning, but also a, a way of life. And during all the period, the, our uh, economical period, it's very, uh, very um, funny to see how the Vespa models looks like actors, actress. The shape uh, increased during the uh, good periods and decreased during crisis. Glass cockpit. Just, uh, just talking about uh, Vespa, I can introduce uh, one of my works. From Vespa to, to other projects. This is the MP3. It's a totally different uh, project. Very technical, very uh, particular. It, but very close to the Vespa because it, it isn't a motorcycle. It's something between a car and a... a and uh, motorcycles, but very, very different. Mo uh, but the bikers don't le like at all the, the MP3. But the MP3 is very, very interesting because of a lot of reason. Uh, you can, uh, you, the, the brake is very effective because you can use two wheels instead of one wheel. The st stability, the, 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 the handling is, uh, very, is uh, amazing. But I'm not interested in the, play, in, in the scooter. I'm interested in the play, in planes. My passion are planes. Then I, I tried to work with uh, Piaggio, not for the scooter, but for the dashboard. This is a normal dashboard of the MP3 hybrid version. I think, we can we use the same concept as in the plane, the glass cockpit? Everything is glass. Everything is a display. People now driving use a GPS, we use the mobile phone, use some... Honestly, the less important thing is to, to know how fast you are driving. We, you, you need a lot of, of information. And then we, we try to use a, a typical device aeronautical device, this is a, a GPS from RV map, and to use the RV map as a display. And uh, we try to put the display in the, in the cockpit, in the cockpit, let me say, in the, in the scooter, and we designed a lot of different uh, interfaces, uh, inspired not from the, uh, from, inspired not by, uh, by motorcycles, but by planes. This is the real one and the, the finished, the definitive one. And the uh, cockpit became not a, a, a typical dashboard, but let me say a hub, a connector of things like, uh, I don't know, remote, um, remote um, uh, uh, diagnostic. Uh, in, uh, in driving information, uh, we, you can pers you can uh, customize also the desktop of your uh, of your uh, dashboard, like in mobile phone. You can put the, the picture of a, of the girlfriend. You can do what you want. You can also send SMS. This is a, uh, is a is a concept, but it was exposed. Uh, in, uh, Cologne, in during the, the, the fair in, Colo in uh, Cologne, in Germany, and, is, and now is, is a permanent exposed at uh, the Piaggio Museum in Pontedera. Near Vipava. As uh, Gregor Weber said, I started uh, 
I, the, first, the first time I went in, in Adoshina was uh, 87, and was really different. Uh, I um, spent my holidays in, in the Triglav and other, uh, other beautiful parts of Slovenia. But I started to, I restarted to travel, with, uh, with, um, to, to, work, to move. I, I, I worked a lot with Adoshina because I worked uh, a lot with Pista. I designed, I designed, I helped to design the, uh, the Pipistel Taurus uh, motor glider. Uh, I um, tried an experience designing the interior of a six-seat uh, six executive plane for Pipistel, and now I'm working with the team, a great team, let me say, young and very passionate team uh, with new products like uh, Pantera. I arrived at uh, three o'clock, and I spent three hours in the PPC before, <laughs> before the, the conference, just because we are very close to, to, fair, to, to, to the most important fair in uh, Germany, and then we have to work a lot on this beautiful, very beautiful product. I am a friend of Ivo Goscaro, the, the owner, and I think Ivo is one of my best inspirations, because Ivo is really inspiring. It's a dreamer, and I like a dreamer. I like fashion as engine. Back to the roots. From the Piaggio PC7 to other projects. Uh, I managed with a, a colleague of the aeronautical engineering department of the University of Pisa to obtain a grant to study, uh, to work on, to work on uh, um, seaplanes, because the last seaplane in Tuscany was made in late 30s. Then the uh, company, Piaggio, uh, divided into uh, the Tuscan uh, branch of Piaggio, uh, started uh, with the, the production of uh, scooters and cars and other things, and the other branch moved to Liguria and remains the Piaggio Aereo, one of the most important Italian uh, companies involved in the aviation field, uh, with other kind of uh, projects. But my goal, our goal, was to uh, restart design and building uh, seaplanes in Tuscany. And then we started, we worked uh, on uh, uh, different uh, configuration. This is the uh, Prand plane. Prand plane is a, configura it's a, it's a strange configuration, but it isn't so uh, modern because the, the was studied during the 20s by Ludwig Prand. And my colleague, Aldo Frediani, is uh, probably the best, uh, the, the, the most skilled uh, um, professor in the world about this configuration. And then we tried to uh, adapt this configuration to an ultralight. What my, uh, my, um, what I have to do in this project? I have to work in the ergonomy, interiors, and uh, style. It's very, very challenging, just because uh, it's a, a um, very particular configuration. And we have not only to design, but also to uh, to try to imagine new things, new way to use the plane, because the plane, thanks to the, to the is a, a strange configuration, could have a interesting, uh, interesting features, like uh, it's a low consumption, um, a very low stall speed, uh, the noise could be, uh, could be, um, very uh, low, then our idea is how to, um, to design a small plane with such kind of configuration. And we designed a lot of different uh, configurations. Uh, we, each configuration have some problem, have some uh, good, uh, like could be a good solution, but also could be, could uh, have a different problem. Then, now, this is uh, the, 
the, the, the, the last configuration, and uh, the definitive one, probably, uh, will be this one. Uh, we are still working for the engine and for the, uh, the position of the, the, the propellers and other things. But what I, uh, I, uh, what I am managing in, the, in this, this moment, it's not only to design the plane, but also to design the war around the plane. I involved my students of a strategy of communication and my students of digital projects to, uh, in, and, uh, to, to help us to design a war around the plane, inspired to uh, the, the, the past, inspired to some interesting things like uh, the sustainability of the plane, or like uh, uh, the respect of the, the, the environment. The first time I published on Facebook a picture uh, with the plane flying over the Bled Lake, Gregor said to me, it's, uh, it's uh, the, 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 the ambientalists, environmentalists. <laughs> it's, it's dangerous to show the plane. No, no, I want to fly with a very, very low impact plane everywhere. Why not? And uh, also in the opposite side, to use the plane as a racer, uh, like is a, uh, grandfather, the Piaggio PC7, I showed you. This is a, <laughs> this is a joke. This is the, uh, our Edintos plane mixed with the, uh, with the livery, with the colors of the original uh, Italian team during the 20s and 30s uh, involved in the Schneider Trophy. All red. And all red now in, in Italy is uh, very famous for the Ferrari. Okay, uh, first of all, I think uh, the passion could be a great, great engine. Uh, from the example of uh, uh, the passion of uh, Isao Zoe for his uh, uh, design work or for the plane. The, the, the planes he designed, or about the um, or the skill of uh, Mark Newson and his uh, ability to move from uh, to move from jewelry to innovative planes, or the the ability of uh, uh, a couple of uh, people to innovate a very cheap thing like the watch, just designing something new for the, the common passion, passion for jewels, passion for plates. Or, again, how to imagine the future, how to imagine the, the, your image, your, uh, your, uh, what you want to look, to look like BMW is still the same logo. And Bugatti, with this incredible uh, streamlined and uh, uh, elegant plane. Nothing uh, by comparison with other planes in the same, in the same period. I remember the Moran. Uh, uh, 406, uh, a French fight, was so ugly in the same period, period, so ugly, it's unbelievable. In the same period, two people, very close, Paris and Paris, designed two, dif two so different uh, things. Yaggio, uh, from planes to uh, other things, not motorcycle, not uh, cars, but scooters. The first scooter, the Vespa. And the, the Vespa is not a motorcycle, just because the designer wasn't passionate <coughs> of motorcycles, but was passionate of helicopters. I remember uh, one, the, the, one of the, before he, just, just some, some days before he died, 
um, Peridium Dascani wrote to Sikorsky, one of the, the most important uh, helicopter producers in the world. And in the, in the letter, right, Mr. Sikorsky, if you have something to, to do, some calculation, some help, I can do it also for free. Because it was so, uh, so uh, attractive to the world of helicopters. But it remains very famous, not for the helicopter, but for the Vespa. Uh, MP3. Uh, new concept, simply. Uh, not, not, uh, if the Vespa it is, is not properly a scooter, the dashboard of an MP3 is not properly a dashboard. It's just a hub. A lot, we, we, we drive with a lot of things in the pocket. Then, why, to, uh, why we, we can't imagine the, the scooter is uh, your hub? You can send a fax by your, from your scooter. Why not? Sometimes you spend a lot of time, time in the traffic. Uh, the problem with the scooter is the ergonomy. You have to do everything using your, your thumb, simply. By comparison, a plane is very simple to, to, to pilot. The scooter is very difficult. You, you have just two fingers to do everything. And the design of the interfaces of this, uh, this uh, scooter was one of the most, uh, let, let me say, difficult work I did in my, in my, in my career. Uh, again, Pipister, Pantera, Eidosh. Uh, incredible how fast and how, uh, how um, unbelievable uh, uh, is, uh, was the, 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 the growth of Pipister. I remember the first time I went in Adoshina, I, I visited the, the, the Evo, worked in a very, Evo Boscarol, the owner worked in a very small workshop under his home. And now it's a very, very un, uh, famous factory, thanks to the success of the team of Pipister all around the world. Again, old configuration, new configuration. Uh, working with uh, the, the past, past and future, passions. This is, uh, I think, the, the best mix for a designer. And last of all, uh, the dream. The dream of sustainability and the dream of speed. Both in the same plane? I don't know, but we have to to work, to demonstrate we can do both. Okay, that's it. I finished, and uh, thank you very much for, uh, for inviting me. Thank you. I invite you to take a seat. So we can have a short debate about the impressive things you showed us so far. So, we usually hear about designers and we think about them. Designers are all about creating beautiful things. But your lecture today was not about how to create beautiful things or to discuss form or something. But you were talking about innovation. You were talking about engineering. You were talking also about beautiful things, but also about interfaces and things like that. What are the relationships between design, engineering, styling? First of all, there is a problem. Because in, Itali in Italian, designer means style. style. Design means style and not project. In English, design is design. And then uh, sometimes happen, the people, especially in Italy, uh, don't uh, think to the design as the aesthetical part of the project. But design, the aesthetical part could, could not survive uh, in a project if it's, uh, so, it, if it's uh, strongly related to the, to the function. Then, form and function must be uh, realized in the same thing. The problem is how to design form, how to design function. I think the best way to design, to, to work is, a, a, as, I to, as I told in, at the beginning, a big team with a lot of very deep and focused skills and a uh, horizontal mind 
in order to use and to collect all, uh, all uh, creativity in just one way. Uh, I, I'm, I work in a lot of fields. Uh, sometimes I have a big, I, I, I have big problem, problem with my uh, customers because the customer don't uh, imagine the same people, the same person could design plane or play bus or be a, a art director of a festival of fairy tales at the same time to be an interface design or to design museum at the same time to prepare scenographies for uh, choreographies. I think the, 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 my, my personal uh, approach is to be, to, to, to be open-minded as possible, to be very curious and to, to move ideas, technologies, shapes from different fields, to mix, mesh, mesh up everything. Yeah. So uh, we also learned that a lot of famous designers also didn't start out as educated designers as such, but started sure. out as engineers. And then we also saw some designers going into engineering. Yeah. So how important is education itself to become a designer, or is, it, or is it something different that defines you as a designer? It's a good question because I, I, start, I started uh, as a student in uh, 80, uh, 1983. And uh, I, the, the, my school was the, the first school in Italy about design, really founded for designers. In, and it uh, was founded in 75, then was eight years old, my school. And I was one of the few designers uh, produced we say by a school of design, and uh, uh, I remember uh, in Italy we we was uh, four schools, four uh, faculties in Italy, four schools, uh, because we, we didn't uh, we wasn't a part of the university, but we we, we have we still have a, a separate uh, department, and uh, we we was uh, uh, the, the school have a, a, an exam to enter. Uh, uh, the, the frequency is obligatory, and so on. Then the school produ produced some uh, 25 people per year. Then in, uh, we are four schools in, in 85, and the four schools produced in, in one year uh, 100 designers. Now in Italy we have 400 universities producing 12,000 designers. I have a friend, he's a very famous designer, uh, Paul Deganelli, who said, now the business is not design, it's the school of design. My, uh, I, I'm not sure the school of design is the best way to be a designer. But the problem is uh, we, we must know a lot of things by comparison with the old style design where the furniture was the, 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 the main target of the schools. And then I think, uh, I'm very happy when, in my courses, I can have uh, people coming from philosophy or from other totally different uh, faculties. Because I think the, the best way to, is to be, as I told you, open-minded, then to explore the world, not simply. To be a designer, you must be curious. You must be passionate. Then it's not important which school you uh, you, you, you did, but it's important. How interested in are you in the, in the in projects? As a Mark Newsom or is also demonstrated. In Italy, the, the, the first, the, the most famous designer were arch architects, engineers, not necessarily designers. Then I think I, I don't believe in in a, in, a, in blueprints. I, I think you can be what you want, simply following your, your, your spirit, your, your idea, and your ideas and your passion. So, and we also saw some famous designers today, but as you mentioned, in, as a current designer, you have to work as a part of the team, you have to coordinate the team. So is there really still a role for a designer to express himself or herself as an artist, to be really the main person behind the project, or is it really such a collaborative effort that you cannot say, somebody is a designer anymore, but it's rather teamwork. How would you say this works? In, in, personally, I do both. I love to design myself, I don't know, uh, postcards of, uh, for fairy tales. 
using Photoshop by night is very, very uh, relaxing and beautiful. Sometimes it's dependent on project. I must, I, I must, beca must become the, the, the head of the project. It, I can't work directly, but in the night I do it because I, I want to express myself. I think uh, uh, it's d difficult to, 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 to place exactly where a designer is. It's uh, from in, in one side the artist and the other side the technician. Where exactly is the designer? We can't say. Because the, importance, the, the, the important thing is to, to be able to move from uh, the two parts. Because uh, the, the, uh, an artist, from, I, I think from my, my opinion, is the artist is the people who express himself. And the technician is the people who work in a team to express, the, to, to, to work on the project, on one part of the project. And the design must be, could be placed in this line where he wants dependently from the project. Sometimes I'm a creative director, sometimes I'm, I am a, a Photoshop operator. <laughs> It's yeah, thank you. So I think the audience uh, has a lot of questions to ask, so I would please ask uh, if somebody has some question to just raise their arm and uh, ask anything. Uh, how does taste evolve in a designer? Il gusto. Uh, taste. Uh, taste uh, means cultures. And each culture has its own taste. Uh, sometimes uh, we, we try to, uh, to, to focus on, uh, on uh, different tastes. But sometimes tastes are, let me say, uh, um, currents, not necessarily uh, tastes. Because uh, uh, the, the, in, in each culture, each culture has its own, uh, his own I idea about uh, what is beautiful, what is not beautiful, what is functional, what is not. And it's uh, very difficult to, to be uh, a, a connector in the, in the role of designer because uh, we must connect sometimes people very different from uh, ourselves. And uh, I think one, uh, a good profession is the people who can uh, understand and who can uh, exchange his uh, ideas in the best way, both with the customer and both with the final user. But it's very difficult to talk about uh, aesthetic because uh, the, the aesthetics changed. I told, I spoken about the Vespa, uh, the Vespa of. Uh, of uh, 40 of 50s was uh, very different from the Vespa of the 70s. Just because in the 70s, uh, also the, as I told you, also the, the cult, also the, 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 the young people were very different from the people of, of the 50s. And then the, the Vespa is the same in all around the world. For instance, in, uh, in, uh, the, in uh, Pakistan or in India, the perception of Vespa is totally different from the perception we have. For us now is a toy. For them is a way to move. But it's the same way to move. Uh, for the same way to move, the Vespa was designed in, uh, in, in force. Then it's very difficult to talk about test, uh, taste, taste. Any other questions? Great uh, lecture today. I okay, feel how you. passionate you are about your field, but I'm really curious to know how you, what is your working attitude? How you inspire people uh, that you work with? How would it be working with you? How would you share your dreams? Share sure, dreams is, uh, I think, the, the, the worst things we can do because uh, each people have his own dream. The problem, uh, the, the, the best way, I think, is to try to match dreams. I love to work with the uh, very, very old uh, colleg colleagues, and I, like, I love to work with very, very young students. And uh, my dream is to be, uh, let me say, neutral, 
by, uh, by composition of my age. Sometimes I, I'm a student between the students, I'm old people between, when I work with old people. The, uh, and the important thing is to, 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 to be able to, uh, let me say, to defend your dream, because it's important. I, I, I tried to, 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 to give my dream to my students. I tried to give my, my dreams to my collaborators, but something happened, something it's very difficult. And because I have, I'm a great dreamer, I have a lot of problems working with other people. But sometimes it happens, and it's very, it's very, very beautiful. I have a couple of people, I work, a couple of students. I work since uh, five years in a totally different, I, I, produce, I produce, I design scenographies for uh, dance, for choreography. But uh, I, I don't, uh, I don't, uh, I, I, I hide it because it sometimes could be um, um, dangerous to show to the customer. The, in, in, the, in, the, in the weekend, I, did, I work in a dance because they, they don't, sometimes the people uh, are afraid from dreams. And uh, I remember when there was a student, uh, one of uh, the, the, the plate of our cards was very ugly black with uh, white letters. And I remember they start, they, the, the, the government decided to change the shape and the lettering and the colors of plates. And he called for this uh, project Zeffirelli. Zeffirelli is an Italian director. And I was to say, why Zeffirelli? Zeffirelli is a director. The director uh, is a man who produced, uh, is a director of movies, of films, not plates. The problem is creativity is not vertical, it's horizontal. Then each people could be the Zeffirelli, each people could uh, design plates if ever enough, uh, um, if, if it's strong enough to try. I think it's very difficult to, to, to live with the strong dreams. But uh, we, we need dreams, also in this period, especially in this period, especially in Italy in this period. Because we, uh, the, the, my sensation is, is we are we, we 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 broke we broken our dreams. In Europe, I, I travel a lot. I, just because I, 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 each month I, I visit two, or two, two, three different countries, and I, I saw the difference in the perception of creativity in each country. Now I'm working in Poland. Poland for for Italy is a very far and strange country. They are very, very focused, very, very, they are dreamers. The same dreamers we, have, we had, we, we, we was in perhaps 20 or 30 years ago in Italy. The, the, the creativity move, and dreams move. Are there any other questions? Uh -huh, there is one. I just have a short question. What is your definition of creativity? What means creativity for you? Okay. Um, I think, uh, I remember uh, Italian uh, designer, Bruno Munari, very famous. He, he wrote a book called Fantasia, Fantasy. And the first five pages was uh, uh, just one word, invention, creativity, ideas, and his, uh, uh, explanation is the uh, ability to explain how creativity and ideas and uh, uh, fantasy is, is great. I'm not so able. <laughs> creativity is uh, the way to a way to live, not th not necessarily a way to 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 um, something to. Uh, when I was a student, I was uh, uh, a I think the worst uh, graphic design in my course. Now I'm, an, I'm uh, the people, uh, the customer, uh, are uh, call me a maestro or or creative director. Then, uh, I, creativity is a uh, something uh, hide in your uh, mind. The important thing is to 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 train 
your creativity and to work in order to, uh, to leave it free to, to move outside. I think all people are creative. The, the, the most creative people are children. They're creative. They, they born creative. The problem is, day by day, you, you risk to be, uh, let me say, um, crushed by things to do, things to, uh, things to, to pay, things to... Uh, the creativity, day by day, could be less uh, useful. But I think uh, creativity is not a war. Is a state of mind. I don't know, but it's very difficult to, 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 to answer. In any case, I, I don't believe in creativity. I believe in, in people. There is a chance for one more question. So, if somebody has something to ask. Well, if not, then I will ask one question, oh. just to close. Yeah. So we were talking about dreams, but sometimes dreams meet reality in forms of engineers, typically. So there is always a conflict between the designer and the engineer, so what is possible and what is not possible to do. So how to resolve this conflict, which occurs daily, mostly? One of my friends is a very, very skilled engineer. He's the director of the uh, Piaggio uh, Centro Stile. The, and he said, I'm sorry, I'm an engineer when <laughs> he talk. Uh, I, I think uh, uh, the, the problem is, uh, is not, uh, uh, the problem don't exist because uh, uh, I'm also, Isao Zo is an engineer. Also, Alberto Meda is an engineer. Also, a lot of very famous and creative people are engineers, and a lot of uh, very famous engineers are not engineers. I remember Carlo Scarpa, one of the most famous Italian architects, wasn't. He never studied architecture. He started as a to practice. Then I think uh, the, the problem could be the school in, sometimes because uh, working with engineers, sometimes the, uh, uh, the, the difference between, uh, let me say, creative people and uh, uh, an engi real engineer is the creative people uh, don't uh, uh, believe too much in his own project. Because it's, uh, each time you try to work in, in the creative field, you are never, never satisfied from what you do. By the way, at the same time, a good engineer with the, the good calculation could say it's a good project. I can't, uh, I don't remember one of my projects I'm, I'm still satisfied. I, I, trying every project I did, I, I, I want to restart from zero and to rebuild everything, every time. Okay, thank you, Max, for this wonderful evening and wonderful lecture. So I would like to thank you thank again. You. Thank you. Thank you.